No! No! I... I... What did I do? No! He starved to death! She starved to death! Hey guys, before we get into the video today, I just want to say first off, thank you so much for clicking on the video, and that we're also on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So, if you guys are new here or have been around for a while and just aren't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and joining the Discord, as it is the best way to support my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And we are back with more art, and today we are going to be making a little, like, just a little base here on Herbivore Island that I'm going to also have be our water base. And it's also going to be just kind of like an area for us to store some trophies. So, I already got me some foundations crafted up. Got 50 of them on me already, because if I had all 100, I'd be over encumbered already. So, I'm going to quickly get what I want planned out here for the patio. And then we'll try and get the up here planned out. Okay, I got a good start here. Um, I think we're going to do a little bit more planning, though. Okay, we got some planning going. Uh, I am going down below, so it does look nice. But I just ran out of my first 50. So that's telling me I probably got enough here to do the patio. And then we can work on the patio. Uh, is this kind of over and cover me? Uh, yep. The 16 wood ones I got do over encumber me. Shoot. That's going to be for the dock as well, which is going to be, like, out there. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to just keep just keep on filling this in. Um, this big open hole here in the middle, you guys might think it's stupid, but I'm making a pool. Alright. Um, actually, it kind of is stupid. I mean, look at how deep, like, this is such a shallow pool. I mean... I'd rather do one out here. You know? Okay, I think I got the shape I want now. For the patio. There's the pool. Um, we might just go one more out. And then... I think that might be it for out that way. Okay, there we go. I think that's the final shape I want. And then this little, like, 4x4 four four area here that's dropping down. I think I'm just going to put some stairs there to get up. And, oh, old foundation from when I was testing out stuff. Okay, so we got the wooden foundations placed down now. So that's going to be kind of like where it's going to be enclosed. And then out here where it's stone, that's going to be like a pa That's going to be the patio. All right, this is the pool. Uh, I did try and line the pool with this stuff, but it does not want to snap in the places I want it to. So, we're not going to do it now. Alrighty, so I just ran out of wood, so I gotta go chop down a bunch of trees. So, hopefully this doesn't take me too long. Okay, I got all the wood I need, so we should be able to go and continue what we were doing. Okay, so what I was doing was I was laying out the pillars here for the walls and technically the balcony. So, boom. Ah, don't lag. Thank you. Then I'm going to do this. And then same over here. Okay, and so far that's what I had planned out. So I kind of want to get this that structure done then we'll work on some stuff out here on the patio then we'll work towards the back okay so now i do got the finishing touches here for the outside and then we'll start working on the patio so we'll start working more up on the upper portion of this and boom there we go i miscounted my pillars again so, we'll throw the doors on, and then we'll throw up these walls. Okay, so I got those pillars up. I'm still liking it. I'm wondering how it's going to look once I get the porch out. I know right now it looks a little wonky here with the wall on the back, but we're kind of building it from the outside. Well, we're kind of building it weird. We're not building the structure. We're building the deck and then the structure. So, this is going to be like the outside area, and then we'll work on the inside area. Alrighty, so I do got the I do got the patio done up here, or well the porch done, in which 
It looks pretty nice. It does. It really does look nice. I'm wondering how it's going to look once I get the roof up there done. Because that's the next step we're going to go up. Um, I don't think I'm going to add a way down from the deck to the patio. From outside, you're going to have to go in. And I think I know where I'm going to do the stairs and all that. Okay, I think we got a good start here. So we do kind of got a nice little staircase up here on the inside and down. Uh, problem is, is we still have sand on the inside of the house. So I just, yeah, that's just one concern I have. That's why we're actually going up by two. So that way we can build back a bit more here and actually have room for like having uh, maybe even, was it a taxidermy of the dragon, the broodmother and all that in here as well. Once we get those bosses defeated. Um, but as of right now, these these little stone shelves here, right, as I got. Um, I think these ones might be for, like, creatures that we have named. Like, Archie might go up here, because he's one that's named right now. Uh, some of the other creatures, uh, Battle Bear, that, that one. I don't know, you guys ain't naming them. Name up. Drop names in the comments. Or in the Discord. Okay, guys, and voila. That is it from the front right now. So we are definitely going to be raising up the ceiling here in the back. Um, but from the inside, it does look nice as well. I did put in a big old window up there with the greenhouse walls. Which I think turned out quite nice as well. Um, the ceiling is not quite keeping out water yet. And I think it's just because we have the big old gap right now. I also got a bunch of stone walls I am placing down now. So that way I can just finish off the bait. Or is it the inside here? And close it all. So. It's not really anything too fancy. But. You can kind of see where I'm planning on putting up more walls. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Though with those walls. Because I also need to come back another. Was it another? Yeah just one more up there on that that one and then i'll start working up on the next one okay so i was just expanding the backwards bit of this to kind of see how far back i wanted to go and i'm running into a problem where we're already running into the cliffside so i'm wondering if i go back just a tiny bit further here another couple and then we kind of like weld part of it into the not weld but like build around the cliffside Okay, so I got this right hand side filled in and I'm not sure how I feel about the, the wood. The wood's kind of thrown me off. I think I should have done stone on the outside, but it, it's fine. It's fine. It's too late now anyways. Um, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some more foundations crafted up and fill in this giant hole right here in the foundations. Uh, okay, and there is all the foundations placed down. Um, this place is actually starting to look really nice. I don't know why I started with such, like a patio, but we do got a lot of ways back there now. There's definitely a lot of room there for display. We got we got room probably for all the artifacts. Um, a couple displays for probably creatures as well. No! No! I... I... What did I do? No! He starved to death! She starved to death! I forgot to feed him. Oh no. Oh no. He must have just ran out of food and I didn't realize it. That's a cinema grubs down. That was a good one. That was one of our good ones too. I can't believe I just let my cinema crops die. On my back. That was just... Ow. How did I let it happen? I, like, I wasn't paying attention, that's how. I forgot to give him food before I left, and then I've been flying around for so long. Ah! I lost him. And then, now there's this? You were not meant to be in there, buddy. Leave, please. You're not meant to be here. No. No. Leave. Uh-uh. Not meant for dinos. I, I'm i afraid to even attack him because I know he's going to break a bunch of stuff. Uh, 
What do I do? I'm down a cinema crops. I got a trike stuck in the base now. Or in the inside of here. I mean, he can leave. He's just not. I mean, it's like... Yeah. Also, why did I... I don't know why I just raised the wall there. That needs to go. Ta-da. Now I can place these. Go away! Why? You're doing this because I don't have my cinema crops. That's why. Ugh. That actually might be the end of the building for today. Actually, I gotta go breed up cinema crops. Because that one was an old one. That one actually was one of the ones with the good stats I needed. So, I think it was even the good stamina. So, problem is, is I gotta go find another good stamina one. And this time around, I gotta finally breed them. I just didn't breed them because the cinema crops take so long to breed. So, we might be going back to Lost Island now. Because I, I really need flight. Can't do much without flight. Okay. So, here's all the Rexes from... When we fought the brood mother. Now, I just gotta get you uploaded. I can't just upload you. You have all my cryopods. Damn it. I gotta run back to the base. You will not believe how much trouble I'm having just trying to maneuver without a cinema crops. I jumped off this guy twice on the way here. Alright. I'm not having fun. Alright. Yeah, they're all moved. I moved them over here. Technically, I could grab 32 there and just go for it. But I want to check you guys. Make sure you're good. You guys actually need food. Where's my spyglass as well? What do I do with it? Do you got my spyglass? No. Why do I hop on you? I need to get my spyglass to check these guys. Okay, checking stats now. So this one on the right is... Hold up. What, what are your stats? Are you just good all around? I think... Did I breed these guys already? No. I mean... Technically, I could just breed these two together and it'd be good. I think... Oh, yeah. That's why I, I hadn't done it. Yet, I got that one. That's probably why. Alright, so technically, I could take these two and start breeding them. In which... That's probably what I'm gonna do. Because... That's what we're probably going to be doing in this episode. So we got a nice start on the, was it, the Hall of Achievements, I guess we're going to call it. I don't, I that, like, that's the only name I could come up with. Alrighty, but anyway, we do need to get these guys breeding. Okay, let's just pull you guys closer together, come on. Oh, no, shoot, I forgot, they fly. They're not going to land exactly next to each other. I got them pretty close, though. Alrighty. Okay, let's see how this goes now. Uh, do, 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 behavior, enable, mating. Uh, behavior, enable, mating. You guys going to go for it? You are! Okay, so these guys take very long to mate. And they even take even longer to hatch. So, it's going to take a hot minute to get done. I forgot I don't have a Sinnoh. Yeah. Now, how am I going to get up there? I think, what is it? Get Archie. Right. Archie, hurry. Oh. There was a Carno right there. I thought it was on the other side. I was walking backwards towards it. Oh, that was just perfect. I, I nearly walked right into a Carno right after I ran off the dam. I ran off the dam. You know what? I ran off the damn treehouse. I'm using you. All right. If you starve to death, you starve to death. I'm sorry, my man. It's your fate. Also, I need water. So. 
Okay, it's also time for this, where we're going to be grabbing our Akatina. And we're going to be starting to reproduce them as well. And we're going to just be reproducing them so that way I can get the CP farm going more. Because we just got those two in there. And I mean, I can probably get 100 CP out of them alone in one day. Just stand in there and collecting it non-stop. But seeing so after we beat the Megapithecus, we should get the tech generator that should get this guy up. Or, since how we are also closer to just being able to craft a grinder, we're really close. I mean, if I dedicated all my time to it, I could get it done in one episode, which might be an episode. So, but for now, I'm going to keep just working on my Sinos. Uh, did they get an egg in here? They did. Now, what is your cooldown? You got a minute still. All right, now let's get the Actina breeding. Behavior enable. Behavior enable. So now, these guys should do something quite interesting. And there we go. And now, they are both pregnant. These guys are also going again as well. How many eggs we got? Well, we're still sitting at one. But yeah, it takes a forever for these guys to breed. Uh, then we do got our Utah here. I don't think I ever showed you guys the Utah Rannis' stats. So as you can see here, we got 40 base health and 42 stamina. The melee is the only thing that could probably be better. But I wasn't really too worried about melee when I was taming this. I was just worried about the health. 